party started. And without further ado, let me introduce the man, the myth, the magic, president of Gearbox Software, Randy Pitchford! <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? Everybody having a good PAX? I love PAX. My favorite thing. Hey, um, we thought we'd start, uh, well, actually, I was going to kind of kind of introduce the show. We got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about today. Um, some cool content. As you guys know, Gearbox is publishing games now. Uh, some of our own stuff, but also things that other people uh, are making, and that's pretty exciting. Also, uh, we have some pretty interesting franchises that we've created that some people here are probably fans of. And uh, um, by the way, um, check out, I don't know if you guys can see, but this shirt, it's got Space Invaders on it. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, my, my wife takes care of my wardrobe. She's awesome. Like, and I don't even know where she gets this stuff or how much it costs. I just go into my closet and there's just new clothes and it's just amazing. What do you guys think of this jacket? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I don't, it just showed up in my closet one day. It's awesome, right? Check it out. It's really... I love it. It just looks great on stage. It's really cool. Um, hey, uh, what if we start with uh, a bit? Do you guys want to start with like a, like a magic trick or something? Let's, I know it's kind of become tradition. Some people know that before I became a game developer, I was a professional magician. I'm going to need some help with somebody from the audience. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out randomly. Uh, somebody grab it. <laughs> Who's got it? Um, would, you, would you stand up? What's your name? Claudia. Uh, and uh, Claudia, I want you to think or t t say out loud a number between zero and nine. Any number? Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, and uh, pass it to somebody else, someone that you don't know, that I don't know, uh, someone randomly. Uh, what's your name? Who, who's got it now? What's your name? Who? Say it again. Dake. Okay. Um, what, what number? Zero to, zero to nine. Four, so we got seven, we got four. Pass it to someone else, someone that you don't know, that I don't know. What's your name? Say again. Brooke, and a number, zero to nine. Six. Pass it to one more person, someone else. Uh, and by the way, right now we have seven, four, six. What's your name? Krista. And I want you, can you stand up? Would you mind standing up, Krista? Um, imagine we're talking about money. We've got 746, and you're the cents. How many cents? 69 cents. Krista, would you mind joining me up on stage for a minute? Let's give, let's give Krista a hand. Let's give her a hand. Okay. Come on up, Krista. Where are you from? From Portland. From Portland. Does that work? Right on. Um, now, before we began, uh, I turned around and you guys saw there was a price tag on my back. You have an important job to do. I want you to read out the price of this jacket, okay? Can you, can you see that? Mike's not tight. How did you guys know? It's incredible. Thank you, Krista. Thank you so much. How did you know? That was incredible. Wow. It's weird. So um, that's, that's a mentalism bit. It suggests that somehow I knew in advance what numbers were, were being picked. And I was, I was working on a mentalism bit uh, with, um, that, that was going to include like five digits uh, that I would, I would write down what they were thinking of. And I wanted to get somebody uh, that would think of a random number. And I, I, I thought the way I was, would do this uh, is, is with the help of this book. And this is a, a book called 10,000 Decimals of Pi. And in it, uh, it's literally just pi. And, uh, and, and what I would do is I'd, I'd make some patter up, like I don't want you to even think of a number because, you know, people can guess passwords if they know something about it. Let's truly make this number random. And nothing is more random than pi, right? So I'd say flip to a random page in the book. What page are you on? Okay, and just look at the numbers, the first five or something. Don't say them out loud. Just think of them. And when they'd say the page number, I would know what numbers they're looking at 
because my method is that I would memorize 10,000 digits of pi, <laughs> and no one would put me on that. Um, then I realized this is kind of a shitty magic trick, <laughs> but it's a cool skill demonstration, so I've been working on this. I've got it pretty good now. Um, I need somebody, uh, uh, actually, let's get three people from the audience to help. Um, hey, you, you were up first. Uh, you with the, with the, the shirt, the, the Borderlands shirt. Yeah, you, yeah. Um, and let's take this Lilith here. That's an awesome cosplay. You're Lilith, right? Psycho. Oh, you're a psycho. You just have Lilith's hair. I, I only saw your head. <laughs> well, okay, let's take Psycho Lilith. Um, come on up. Come on up. <laughs> um, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Uh, let's, we'll probably, Elise, can you help us with the mic? And what's your name? Alice. Alice. Look, Lilith's hair, but psycho costume. And what's your name? Melanie. Melanie. Do I know you? Yes, you do. How do I know you? We got married. I married you guys. I hate to do this, but it's really important that, I, that the people up on stage don't know who I am. Good to see you again. Congratulations. Um, they got married here on stage. Do you mind if I pick? Can you pick someone else at random that doesn't know me? Pick, you pick someone at random that doesn't know me. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. We'll start with, um, we'll start with you. Um, flip through the book. By the way, um, this, if you want to get this on Amazon.com, if you want to memorize Pi, Nina Chevent. Uh, and, you'll, and there's an introduction. She actually did write something. Um, talks about the history of Pi and, uh, and the fact that this, um, this grad student, Lu Chao, has the world record uh, memorized 67,890 digits of Pi. Okay, I'm working my way through the book. You'll notice there's a bookmark here at the 7,500 mark. That's because I haven't quite gotten that far yet. So don't go past the bookmark. <laughs> Um, but flip through the book, make sure it is what it claims, what it, what it seems to be, just it's a regular, it's just a book full of numbers of, of, of pi. Um, so pi is beautiful. Pi has something to do with the relationship between the circumference and the radius of a circle. And it is an irrational number. And it goes on for infinity. It is an infinite sequence of non-repeating digits. That means every possible combination of numbers conceivable is somewhere contained within pi. All of your birthdays are somewhere in pi. Uh, my birthday is in pi, it's not in the book. My birthday is around the 67,000 digit mark. Um, but most people's birthdays are actually in the first 10,000 digits. You know what else is in pi? If you think of the video games we make, reduced down to the numbers of the machine language, every video game Gearbox has ever developed is somewhere inside of pi. It also means that every video game that has yet to be developed is already in Pi, so if we could just find that, we don't have to do any work, we could just go home early, call it a day. I know, I know we're all looking forward to some games here. Um, uh, but it's all in there, uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful number. Um, uh, it, 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 everything we can imagine is somehow in it. Um, so you've flipped, flipped through the book. I want you to, I don't want to look, and I want you to hide the book from me, but flip to, and Elise, you might want to stand away because they'll think we're in cahoots. Um, flip through a random, dig, uh, random uh, page. Okay, um, and uh, what, what, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what, what digits are on the page because I've indexed it in groups of 2,500 and by page number, and I've got a little algorithm I can use to help me look up the sequence. Uh, so what, what, uh, what page are you on? 40. So on page 40, um, the, uh, the first, you're on page 40. Okay, that's okay. Um, the, <laughs> let's see, um, is the, the first digit on page 40, it's, is it a four? No. Wow, this is, um, no, but I, my, I, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult when, when you're in front of thousands of people, it's kind of tricky to, to think straight. Would you mind choosing a different page? Because I just, I just had a, it's okay, it's okay. What do you got? Page 44. Okay. <laughs> okay, on page 44, the first digit is a zero, and the second digit is a one, and then it's another zero. Okay, I got three, okay, good. So I got that. <laughs> okay, maybe I memorized the first three numbers of every page, except for page 40. Um, hand the book to the next person. What's your name? 
Jason, um, Jason, uh, just to kind of make it, uh, let's step up the difficulty a little bit. Um, I want you to look at a random page, but don't start at the top, and don't, uh, don't tell me the page number. Look for a random page and find somewhere in the middle of the page, just find a number at random, and that'll be the beginning of a sequence. And we'll ask you for a few digits in the sequence, and then I'll be able to pick up the sequence from there. You see, when you memorize a sequence of things, like we've all memorized the alphabet, you can kind of pick up anywhere in the sequence. For example, if I were to say LMNO, P, we could all say, correct, you can continue the sequence. Now there's a lot of repeating sequences, I usually can get the sequence, the specific sequence you're looking at in about five digits, sometimes I meet, need as many as seven, sometimes I can do it in just three. Um, do you have a digit to start with? Okay, um, uh, and, and I'm going to ask you to say the digits slowly one at a time. I'll ask for them, and I'll, we'll first start with three or four digits. I'm going to process that, and then I'll ask for another digit, okay? And then once I've got the sequence, I'll tell you what the next one is, and I'll just keep going until you're bored. <laughs> okay? Okay, what's the first digit? Eight. Okay, and then? Five. Okay, and then? Four. Okay, hold on. Okay, one more. Is the next digit a nine? Okay, what is the next digit? Five. Okay, that's another, a couple possible um, angles there. Um, and I need one more now, and I think I'll have it. One. Okay, then the next digit is a three. Yes. And then uh, the next digit is an eight. Yes. Okay, and the next digit is uh, six. Is that correct? Okay, I'll just keep going, and you tell me. In, okay, uh, so it's uh, a six, then it's five. Zero, yep. nine, four, right? Yep. Uh, one, yep. three, no, no. Uh, four, four, nope. no, so, so it was three. It's one, three, yep. um, uh, then it's uh, zero, yes. five, yes. four, yes. eight, yes. one, yes. two, yes. nine, yes. zero. Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> um, actually, with you, we're going to do something different. Uh, you're not going to look in the book. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, well, you will in a second. Just hold it close. Um, uh, everyone's birthday's in pi. Uh, I can't guarantee that your birthday's in the first 10,000 digits, but it might be. If it's not, maybe we'll pick somebody else. But um, uh, let's see if I can find your birthday. What, what, what's, uh, when's your birthday? July 8th, 1991. July 8th, 1991. Uh, that's not in the first 10,000 digits. No, it's okay. Let's, let's try just the month and the day. July 8th, that would be um, 0708, correct? Yes. 0708. Um, uh, I, that is in the first 10,000 digits. I can find that for you. Um, let's see. Give me a second. I know it's weird, but it, it's true. Um, page 174. It's on the seventh line from the top. One seven, I know it's past the, ten, it's past the bookmark. <laughs> I might not get this. 174? Seventh line down? Is it there? Whoa, we did it! Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you guys. All right.